another round of reviews. Well, it's that time of year. It's Minter. It's the new Holiday Edition Whippets. It's the mint flavor. This to me is almost blasphemy. I love Whippets. Not fussy on mint. And is that like a cherry filling? This could be a potential disaster for a Whippet. And that already hurts me to say it. But who knows? I could be wrong this Minter. Let's check it out. Well, at least it looks like a classic Whippet. But smells like a peppermint patty. We have that real milk chocolate, the awesome softer biscuit underneath, and other nut, just mint and mellow. Chocolate and mint is a classic pairing. I'm not huge on it, but every now and then, especially this time of year, I can take it. I do love whippets. Their mellows are awesome, and their chocolate rocks. Plus, there's something about that biscuit. So let's give this one the benefit of the doubt and try the mint holiday edition whippet. Let's try it. Minty but not that strong of a mint, so that's okay. But check this out. I love the texture of the mallow, I gotta say. The chocolate is nice. It is a bit peppermint patty-ish. The biscuit seems a little bit different this time. Maybe a slight more crunch, but very good. Just can't quite put my finger on what this filling is. Oh, it's a peppermint filling. So it's kind of like candy cane, which makes me wonder, is the marshmallow actually flavored? I think the marshmallow is just colored, and the actual flavor is coming from this peppermint. Maybe that's why it don't seem so powerful, but I just gotta make sure that my mind isn't playing tricks on me. Yeah, all the flavoring is actually in that filling. So they didn't mess with the Whippet too much, I guess. So what does Ron think of the Holiday Edition Whippet? I can appreciate how they approach this, with just putting the flavoring in the filling, and leaving the rest, like, as be. Like, don't mess with a Whippet. It's good stuff. Mint fans, you're really gonna like this. Non-mint fans, you're not gonna like it. So don't go there, obviously. I'm somewhere in the middle. I wouldn't take a second one, but I wouldn't spit out the first one. It's not horrific. Ron's giving this one 5 out of 10. Mint fans, you're obviously gonna rate this much higher. I found this at Dominion. Across Canada, that's your Loblots chain of stores. Another quick round of reviews, and see you guys next time.